I am here today speaking with Chef Donatella of Arpea, a restaurateur, judge on Food Network's Iron Chef America, and the next Iron Chef, and also a cookbook author. Donatella is a woman with a whole lot of food knowledge. Welcome, Chef Donatella. Thank you. Great to be here, Stacy. Yes, it's great to talk to you. I, I was recently in New York City and enjoyed an amazing dinner at Kathy. I got to say, every single bite was delicious. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's really a favorite, which is great. Yes, no, I wish I lived closer. My husband absolutely adores Greek food, and it was just, it, the, and also not only was the food amazing, so was the service. I got to say, it was a really wonderful night. The oh, I'm entire so glad. Time there. I'm so glad. Well, Donatella, it's back to school time, and that means back to packing school lunch. <laughs> yes, it's, it sure is. It's very stressful for many moms. It is. So what should parents be considering when packing lunches and snacks for their children? So um, the whole goal is to get your children to eat whole foods and to get them to eat as much fresh fruit and vegetables as possible, which is a challenge on any given day. And, you know, the packaging for lunch has gotten really really much improved. So for example, you can never pack a salad before, but now you can because of these great containers. So I'm going to start with uh, a recipe called my Mexican chicken salad. And it really talks about all the fun t ways to get your children to eat healthy and delicious food. So I have a grilled chicken breast that you can grill on a Sunday night, have a few of them done. I'm slicing them with a bowl of lettuce or spinach. And I'm so happy to be working with Libby's because they've created microwavable, self-contained little veggie cups, which I think is brilliant because half the time, busy moms, we don't get vegetables in because we didn't shop that week. We didn't have time to cook and prep. And these, it's done for you. So this is a single size serving portion of sweet corn. It's already cooked. All I did was drain it. I have some black beans. And I think that variety with children is really, really important and they like to eat with their eyes. Then you have to have some perceived bad food like shredded cheese, but this is part skim, but every child I know loves cheese. Some yes, they do. Cherries, some cherry tomatoes that are cut, filled with lycopene. And speaking of foods that people love, my son loves bacon, so if I add a little crumbled bacon to anything, all of a sudden he thinks it's, it's bad, even though it's a delicious, healthy salad overall. So this is really, really fun. They like to eat with their hands. I like to get my child involved in the cooking process as well and the choices. So I'll take him grocery shopping with me and I'll teach him about foods and where they come from. I've been recently telling him about how to make a vegetable garden and he came to me and he told me he wanted to grow a vegetable garden with peas, carrots, and mac and cheese. So we're getting there. We are getting there. <laughs> Here's a little bit of salt pepper, and a touch of smoked paprika, which is a little touch of mine because my son loves smokiness of bacon, so I figured he would like that. So here's a great way to prepare lunch that's different from the ho-hum typical ham and cheese sandwich that you normally make. And it's not just about lunch, it's about the after-school snack. It's about a healthy breakfast. I mean, most parents feel that they can't incorporate or don't even think about incorporating vegetables into breakfast, but I created a veggie pea scramble with ham and peppers um, and my son loves it. I could not get him to eat peas for the life of me. I would put it in mac and cheese. I put it everywhere. He wouldn't eat it. He methodically picked all those peas out and then for breakfast I put it in scrambled eggs and now he loves them. So you have to be persistent and sneaky and you have to find solutions that really work for you. Um, and one final dish that I've created is a turkey bolognese. Uh, bolognese, the classic meat sauce from Italy, but I've added peas and carrots into my bolognese, so you're getting vegetables in. And then two days later, I repurpose it for lunch by putting it between sang sandwich and I create a little uh, sloppy joe bolognese or a little slider for my son, and he loves it. So you have to get creative, you have to be persistent, and you have to find products and read your labels carefully to find products that work for your busy lifestyle and that you can feel good about. Well, that Mexican chicken salad and the turkey bolognese both sound delicious. And you are right, we do have a lot more ways to pack school lunches today. But what about tips on keeping lunches at the correct temperature because of the proteins that we're packing for our children? Oh, that's a great, that's a great topic. You know, they actually have, I, I'm not sure of the name of it, but now they even have packed lunches with the little ice packs 
attached to them. So you chill them from the freezer and then you add it to your lunchbox and you can keep the protein at the right temperature. There's also, you know, thermal bags, insulated bags, so that if you keep them, if you have them cold in the refrigerator by the time your child eats it, the temperature should, should be fine. Um, also, the, I think the schools are much more careful. A lot of times, I mean, in my son's preschool, the, the lunch bags go into a refrigerator, so you have to really ask. But there's thermal bags, there's thermal soups, so you can keep the soup hot, especially when it gets wintry. It's like getting a warm hug when they have a nice stew with vegetables inside it. You can make great vegetable minestrones. But that's a really excellent point that you bring up. Um, well, Donna, so this is actually my 19th year packing school lunches, <laughs> and I have got five more years to go. And I know the excitement of the new school year and new beginning. I also know, come springtime, what a tedious job packing lunches comes to be. Do you have any ideas on how to stay motivated so that this daily job of packing lunches is continues to be, you know, healthy for our children and that I actually still look forward to making sure that they eat healthy. <laughs> you know, 19 years, that's a long time. I, I feel you. It and is. I, <laughs> and I, I understand what a rut it is. And I know the answer is boring, but the more you prepare on the weekends and the more you buy fun products during the week and you look for variety and look for new things for your child because you're constantly retraining, retraining the palate, uh, the better you are, and get your kids involved. Find out what they like. Find, and if it's only chocolate, <laughs> get other solutions or give them a piece of chocolate in their lunchbox. It's okay to have something sweet and to add notes to it. But the packaging today, I mean, do a little research for packaging lunches today. It's incredible how advanced they've become with packaging. So you can do salads, so you can do hot soup, so you can keep your meats at certain temperatures. There's great packaging out there. And also, I mean, if you want to get, you can now, for example, Libby's, Libby's has these great veggie cups. You can just put the veggie cup right into the lunchbox and they can eat corn right out of the cup. It's about retraining children to think vegetables don't necessarily have to be hidden. They could be great on their own. So you really have to keep the momentum going by planning on a Sunday so that during the week, you don't have anything around and then you feel guilty and then you just slop something together and then the kids get depressed because they they see something that was kind of haphazardly put together also i don't know how how old your kids are but you know my son is young now and i'm using cookie sh cutter shapes and creating fun shapes with sandwiches and all of a sudden he likes it like i put a star or a dinosaur so you just have to be creative and have fun and and be committed to making sure that your kids eat healthy food because if you're committed then it's going to show and they're going to love it and i like your tip of variety i think mixing it up adding variety that helps me stay motivated throughout the year when it's not the same thing all the time it's so, so important uh, it's so important yeah and and time savers you have some great time savers there for us so thank you very much for that the living cup sound like a great time saver as well as just really kind of prepping things on sunday that helps us save time every morning before work and before school and if you want any more of these recipes, I have all of them and more at getbacktothetable.com. Getbacktothetable.com. I was wondering where to get the recipe for that Mexican chicken salad. Um, that sounds wonderful, Donatella. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today for my readers to get this, this great um, information. It is back to school time, and we're all kind of in that mode of ramping up for a whole new school year. Thank you.